Welcome to Sortier Keys. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at SB404's MFX flanger. Flanger works by mixing two identical audio signals together with one of the signals playing at a slightly slower speed. There's actually two ways to use flanger. When you turn on the machine, the default mode is with the send return mode on. We'll check send return mode off in a different video. To begin, let's make sure the volume is set to zero and controls one through three are at 12 o'clock. Then we'll turn our SP404 on. This is one of the ways I take care of my SP404 by making sure that all of the settings are correct before I turn it on. The SP404 is inherently quiet, so to make sure it's at the right gain level, we're going to turn up the gain to 6 dB. The control 3 will not change dB unless you move it very quickly back and forth, and then you can find whichever dB you would like to use. The next thing I always do before using my SP is turn the limiter on. This helps to prevent unneeded damage to equipment. To turn on, simply press cancel and MFX and you can change from on and off. The SP404 has five main effects. Filter plus drive, pitch, delay, isolator, and vinyl sim. And then we have our 24 MFX. There's a total of 25 effects in total that you can use with the SP404. The names of the MFX on my machine are underneath my pads because of the cover I use. If you're using a regular cover, then it will be on the side over here. There are three steps to choosing an MFX. So the first step is MFX plus pads one through 12. And if you hold down MFX plus final sim, you can get to pads 13 to 24. And this is an easy way to do it, MFX plus control three. Use this way with caution if you're doing a live performance. Although it's very easy and very convenient to use this method of MFX plus control three, if you are doing a live performance, there is a high chance that you might hit the wrong MFX or your setting will be completely off. I'll explain more later in the video. The best way is to hit the MFX button, hit which number you, pad you want, make sure the pad is lit, take it off, and then you can release the MFX. All right, now let's get into the sounds we'll be using for this video. I have all my sounds on bank C, and we'll first set the parameters. You can follow the instructions on the screen or you can create your own parameters as you gain more experience with the SP404. For demonstration purposes, I went ahead and set control one and two to 12 o'clock so that we can compare. Next, slowly raise up the volume of the pad that you're using. All right, perfect. Now we're ready to get started. On pad number one, I have my melody. On pad number two, I have a set of drums. And on pad number three, I have a full project. So we can easily compare what Flanger does to each of these types of sounds. The music used in this demonstration is a cover song I made of Last Summer Whisper by On Me. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. All right, let's get started.
what did you think? It really changed the sound a lot, creating a sort of jet sound or swoosh. Next, we'll take a look at what flanger does to a drum kit. What did you think? A little bit goes a long way. Now we'll look at what Flanger does to a mastered project. What did we think of this? I think flanger adds a lot of character to the sound, but again with anything with multiple instruments like drum kit or mastered sound, a little really does go a long way. But for individual tracks and instruments, you can really have fun with flanger. Create your own unique sound. If you haven't already, make sure to check out our SP404FX chorus video. If you enjoyed today's video, it would help the channel a lot if you liked, commented, and subscribed. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a future upload. Make sure to check back in a couple weeks for a new SP404 video. To get a more real look into the channel, make sure to check out our podcast, Soria Keys Radio Station. I'll go over and share news and updates about the channel, mindset tips that I've learned along the way, and more. Thank you so much for watching.